motorcycle courier George is about to collect some important cargo. Good morning, sir. He's Guy's and St Thomas's very first green delivery driver, charged with transporting precious blood and tissue samples between the Trust's two main hospital sites. After the initial getting used to the front, you know, it's, it's really easy to cycle, it's quite enjoyable and I love cycling anyway, just the freedom of it and the exercise. Sometimes I feel vulnerable but not necessarily. If you know what you're doing when you're cycling in London, you should be okay as long as you stick to what you know. Every year the Trust makes 5,000 deliveries by van or motorbike. With its two main hospitals inside the Mayor's new ultra-low emission zone, the journeys are adding to pollution in the area. In Lambeth alone there's 10,000 school children um, go to school um, where, where the schools are next door to very high, highly polluted roads. The model we're adopting in terms of electric vehicles, we're, we're finding that will be more economic than, than using diesel trucks. But it's not just about lowering costs and dangerous emissions. Push bikes can move through traffic more quickly. We are dealing with organic material, so if you leave it for too long, it will tend to degrade. So much better to get it there quickly. So this was back in December 2015 um, when I was uh, recovering from my transplant. And it's an uh, issue that resonates with George, who had a hundred blood transfusions when suffering with leukaemia. On occasion, his blood products didn't arrive on time. Naturally, I felt pretty scared in a way because I knew that the treatment I was having was my opportunity to get into remission. And if I wasn't following the treatment protocol, if I wasn't getting the treatment when I needed it, uh, there was a chance it wasn't going to work. It was uh, less likely to work. For George the Courier, there are another six months of trialling drop-offs and pickups like these. Hello, good afternoon. If successful, the Trust plans to roll out the scheme across all its sites in the future. And one day, it could even use it to transport organs. Charlotte Franks, BBC London News.